Hey there, I just want to make a quick video and it's about consistency, staying consistent, which of course ties into the procrastination stuff that uh, a lot of my content is about. So the question, how do you stay consistent? And it's true that we want to stay consistent. It is, I think, the biggest factor in terms of attaining a goal, right? So the question is, okay, yeah, we want to be consistent. So with that said, that's the goal. Now we consider what's the biggest barrier to remaining consistent? Because we all know it's the goal. So how do we do it? The biggest obstacle we have to staying consistent with our goals, the biggest mistake, it's not low motivation. It's the tendency to overwhelm ourselves. That is the biggest problem we face, and we are very prone to this. Even if we're making lots of progress towards the goal, the tendency to overwhelm will come back in. So the discipline, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to offer a new way to conceptualize what discipline is when you're trying to achieve a goal. How can we be disciplined? And the old model was do more and do it all the time. The discipline is actually around being mindful and protecting against the tendency to overwhelm yourself. That's where we need to be disciplined because there is an attraction to that old mindset, that old programming of do more, do more, do more. I'm not doing enough. Because that comes in, we overwhelm ourselves. And what will happen is the nervous system, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but at some point, it will feel overwhelmed to the point where it will shut down engagement. It won't let you continue. And then the problem, of course, is that we, we disengage from the goal. And we go AWOL for a day, a week, two weeks, a month, right? We're, we're, we're not engaged. So the, the real thing we're trying to do here is to stay engaged. And one of the things I like to tell people is, when you're talking about how engaged you should be with your goal, it's not to ask yourself, what is the most I can do here to achieve this goal? The, the real useful question we have is, what is the least I can do toward my goal on a daily basis that will be easy for me to maintain? What is the least I can do to easily maintain it and to feel like I'm making progress, any progress at all? And that is what we set as the benchmark to be consistent with, okay? I can't really overemphasize the importance of bringing awareness to the, the tendency we have to overwhelm ourselves, to take on too much. So you can throw out this idea that you need to bully yourself, you need to push yourself and you're not doing more. Because it's kind of an illness we have. And my big problem with it is that it doesn't work. It won't work. It's almost as if we want the goal too much. To the point where we're willing to say, I'm okay with really pushing myself and potentially even harming myself if it means I'm going to get that thing. Personal productivity doesn't have to be this way. In fact, I would say for the vast majority of people, it can't be that way. It won't work. So this video is basically just re-emphasizing what I said in previous videos and on this channel, with my videos, this is me repeating myself. And I'm going to keep repeating myself. That's what this channel is going to be. Repetition is the mother of clarity. So what's the least I can do on a daily basis to make it feel easy? And I know that I can stay in contact with it. Okay. Now, this is how you establish a baseline for staying connected with your goals. 
right? So the baseline is all I'm doing is just a minimum to stay engaged. What you can also add to that is a period of time in your day where you may feel like doing extra to the additional baseline you've established. But what I what I recommend for that is, well, how much extra should I give? That should be more about a more intuitive engagement. It should be more about, it should be much more grounded in desire rather than obligation or structure. Which isn't easy because um, we are not really trained or conditioned to be in an operating system to live from that place where we're about what do I actually want to do here we've been conditioned to operate our lives from an obligation operating system of should do have to do need to do ought to do have to do right is the big one I have to do it I have to do it I have to do it I should do it when we're not in that space the only other option is, well, what do I want to do? And I think often we think we would like to live from that place, but actually when we get to the the experience of trying to live from a place of what do I want to do, we find this is not easy. I'm not practiced in this. We're all very good at waking up in the morning and saying to ourselves, I should do this, I have to do that. How often do we wake up and say, what do I want to do? That's a much more uncomfortable question for most of us. Now, I'm not saying that our whole life should be based around what do I want to do. But I'm saying there needs to be a balance between, okay, there's a structure in place, these easily achievable things, baseline things that I can remain consistent with. That can be a structure in our life. But our whole life can't be, our whole day can't be structured, right? There needs to be a little bit of this structure and then a different space for a different operating system to come in where it's much more about what do I feel drawn to, what wants to be done, what's intuitively attracting me here, where do I want to go with my day, what do I want to put my time and energy into. So, just to recap, the main point of this video is, if you've noticed that you've slipped in staying consistent, it's not that there's something wrong with you. It's not that you're not strong enough or you don't have enough willpower or you're not organized enough. It's none of that. It's almost certainly you very subtly got drawn into a tendency to overwhelm yourself, to take on too much, to have too high of demands on yourself, which leads to disengagement. Okay, so... When you're looking for, well, how much should I be engaging with my goals here? How much should I be doing? We want to tap into, well, look, how much have I been doing? We want to look at that, honestly. Well, this last two weeks, I didn't do anything towards my goal. Okay, so my baseline is actually zero for engagement. So now it's going to be, okay, if I tell myself I'm going to do three hours in this thing today, best to look with that because that's not going to work. But it might go from, if you convince and negotiate with your nervous system, I want to engage with this thing for 15 minutes. That can be a really helpful thing. Now we're really attuning to what does the nervous system feel comfortable with giving here. Okay. So it can feel a little bit uncomfortable to commit to doing so little right? It feels a little uncomfortable when you commit to, I'm just doing this small step, but consistently. That little underminer voice will come in. It's like, well, that's not going to make a difference. You're not going to get there with that. But actually, you will. You actually will get there with that over a long enough time frame. We are not very good at assessing or perceiving the benefit of small, consistent efforts over time we're, we're not good at perceiving that right but one way to think about it is look back over the thing maybe you procrastinated on right days would go by no engagement occasionally i'd engage maybe maybe two weeks go by i don't engage so this on and off thing no consistency right 
And then we ask, well, what if I had, if I look back over that, what if the, over those last six months, we'll say, I had engaged for 15 minutes a day, where would I be now? I think if you're honest, you'll find that you are, you would be in a much better place with different options available. So again, this is the channel where I tell you to do less. I tell you to engage with your goals because your goals are important, but to do it with an awareness of what, how does the nervous system actually work? How does it respond? Tendency to overwhelm it will shut it down. Okay, I can't overwhelm it, but I need to make promises to myself to make sure that I'm moving towards this goal. So I'll leave it there today. Just a little reminder and maybe bring that into your reflective periods and uh, just attune to yourself to find out how much of this overwhelm, how, how much of this tendency to overwhelm myself has is maybe currently undermining my goal attainment or has it had that impact in the past and maybe I should be more mindful about that moving forward. And as always, thanks for being with me and I hope this was a helpful short video. Take care.